I've seen a lot of stupid people in these reviews, like a teleporting zombie fisherman, the remote boys, Harry Potter, troll goblins, the surgeon general, a, a vegetarian zombie, and a ghost that haunts a website. So my question now is, who's next? You want to know who's next, eh? Yeah, that was the question. You're next! What? Santa This is a lovely Christmas movie, and we start off with a family of a bunch of unlikable characters starring Fran Drescher and Chris Catan. And sadly enough, they could both do much better. And also James Caan? Seriously? And strangely enough, he went uncredited in this movie. Wonder why? Let it be tender and moist just for once. Yeah, moist. That would be nice. It's called foreplay. I don't want to screw the bird, I want to eat it. And don't worry, there's tons more of those funny, funny jokes coming up. Oh, Virginia. Let's dig in. <gasps> I'll stick this fork in your eye. Thank you for the bountiful food that you've provided for us. And that our loving family can be together this Christmas. Get it? Because they aren't a loving family at all, huh? <laughs> and those that are less fortunate work hard. And we're only two minutes and 30 seconds into this movie. Well, things get a little better when Santa Berg starts killing off these unlikable characters. I'm sure there won't be any more to replace them. You want some? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, he hurt him. Sorry. So that's right, we've got a murdering Santa Claus played by Bill Goldberg of wrestling fame. But I've got to say, they did do a pretty good job of separating him from his wrestling persona in this movie. Who's next? <laughs> okay, strike that. So this movie takes place in Hell Township. How much do you want to bet there's going to be a lot of hell jokes? What the hell is in the holiday hoagie? Didn't even take them six seconds. No joke. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Talbot. Thank you, and go fuck yourself. What a fucking whore. What a pleasant lady. Get it? It's funny because she isn't, and don't worry if you didn't find it funny here, that joke is on repeat for the whole movie. Oh, bitch! I don't even know why he's on the road when, you know, Santa's sleigh flies. Suck it! <laughs> Seven and zero. Oh, Santa Berg's undefeated streak continues. So we come back to our main characters, Nicholas and his girlfriend Claire from Lost. Ah, so this is where she disappeared to—a deli in a silly Santa slasher. Yeah, it makes about as much sense as anything in Lost. You've got a tune to the great one. Do you smell what the Rock is cooking? Ha! The Rock's laying the smackdown. You don't care too much for Christmas, do you? It's always disappointing. Like, I'd want an Optimus Prime or a Castle Grayskull, and I'd always end up with a stupid mini-bake oven or something. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, oh, darn it, Nick. That's the second box of bubs I dropped tonight. Um, okay, was that funny? I don't understand. He drops lots of boxes of bulbs? What the hell? Don't be throwing the word hell around all willy-nilly like that. Walked right into that one. Anyway, we find out Nicholas's grandfather likes to make a lot of crazy inventions. Really, Dubliners. Sometimes I think I'm the only person in this town that doesn't believe you're completely nuts. Oh, grow up, Dubliners. Meanwhile, Sandberg is trying to make up for his killings a little bit by collecting for charity, but he suddenly gets attacked. Santa's got the title on! Santa! 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 
I'd just be a little careful what I asked Santa for this year. What? Are we Jewish or something? No, but Santa in this movie is. Anyway, Nicholas's grandfather explains to him that Santa is Satan's son. Now seriously, what kind of depraved mind makes Santa evil? Merry Christmas to all! All your souls are all mine! Damn it. So Claire or Mac or whoever she is gives Nick a present. It's more than meets the eye. I said I wanted Optimus Prime, not some stupid knockoff. So at a church we see Dave Thomas? For fuck's sakes, have some pride, man. You were in Strange Brew. Good day. Oh, do, do our new movie theme, eh? Yeah, okay. And the joke is, he's a preacher that goes to strip joints. So Sandberg decides to start cleaning house, and literally cleaning. That's actually kind of funny. And then shockingly takes care of Vince Russo with the highest voltage light ever. Naughty. Wouldn't you be naughty for going there too? Ah, whatever. Santa's undefeated streak continues, 19-0! <laughs> what the hell is it? Oh, it's Santa's hell deer. Yes, that's really what they call it. And it ate the ballet. Call me when you're ready for a more mature relationship. Yeah, well that'll be never. Did you forget what movie we're in? Nicholas then reads the story of why Santa had to be good for the last thousand years and it's shown in the stop motion style of that old Rudolph special. But the reason is he got beat in a game of curling with an angel. Yeah, sure, why not? It also shows Santa with elves here, something that's missing from the rest of this movie. They should have had Gilbert play as elf in the movie, come on! You know, the guy used to parody Goldberg all the time and lose constantly? Huge opportunity missed there, everyone wants it, just listen! <sighs> So Nicholas is now convinced of Santa's evilness, but when he goes on a Santa tracker online and they make fun of him for believing in Santa, he flips right back. He's nuts. Can we open our motherfucking presents now? Oh, wow. <laughs> Stupid kids. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. Fuck. Oh, no, they ruined it. Santa then wants in the deli for no reason. Sorry, Santa! We're closed! It's Christmas! You should know that better than anybody! And the only reason I'm here is for plot convenience. Santa! Spear! 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 Monica candle to the neck! Santa's undefeated streak continues! Nicholas hears about his boss's death over a police scanner, but somehow runs over there quicker than the police. Oh, but he's still alive, so he can deliver this joke. Nicholas, there is a Santa Claus. Looks like someone punched out Mr. Green's Festival Alliance. Get it? They're being casual because you wouldn't normally be casual about a death. Ah. On you now, your gay apparel. Oh, that's funny. I see you've definitely done now your gay apparel. Damn it, I gotta stop doing that. Maybe. His next killing will be right here. Oh, this police station? Oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> Get 
So after a close call with Santa, Mac and me Nick run back to his place when the house gets attacked by carolers for no reason. Excuse me. <laughs> the gorilla press drop to hell! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, apparently I didn't even need to be putting his theme in there. The movie's gonna do it for me now! Then we have a classic matchup of Grandpa versus Santa. Grandpa! <laughs> oh, Grandpa got run over by a reindeer. <laughs> Sandberg decides to fly this time instead of getting held up by traffic. We now see Dave Thomas is dressed up like Santa and is still being hilarious. Move, you skanks! Sandberg, for no reason, decides to keep him in his sled. I swear to God, Nicholas, am I gonna have to make every first move in this relationship? Oh, that's funny. They're running for their lives and also making stupid relationship jokes. <laughs> Christmas present? He loved you a lot. Oh, please, don't even try to bring any seriousness to this pathetic mess now. Save your fire oh, Santa Berg throws fireballs now, of course. I suppose asking why he didn't do that earlier is a stupid question. Christmas can sure scare the dickens out of people. <laughs> Quit using a large name in vain, a-hole! I still can't believe that we're being hunted by Santa of all effing people. A-hole? Effing? What is with this dialogue? Did they hit their swear quota and had to resort to junior high pseudo-swearing? Guess not, because Nick shines a light at Santa Berg and he spouts, I'm Santa Claus, not fucking Dracula! Yes, because Dracula died by flashlight! Anyway, Nick's grandpa shows up again with an amazing effect, and extremely surprisingly, he was the curling angel from the story. The only angel to give up his immortality for an earthly woman. Yet he died earlier and he's now back. I know you're not trying very hard, movie, but give it a little effort. How did you know I'd find you? You said you'd go to Helen back to find me once the bet was over. So I moved to Hell Township. Why does Santa Berg think he wanted him to find him? Because he was so well prepared and stopped him from killing anyone? It was easy to find you. Dear Santa, I wanted to see you at the mall, but my grandfather finished curling practice too late. I don't think he really wanted to go, so I'm writing you this letter to tell you what I would like for Christmas. Can I please have a mini bake oven? just got through establishing that he wanted him to find him. Now Santa Berg's gloating that he found him, and that Easy Bake Oven joke just negated Nicholas's whole reason for hating Christmas. For fuck's sakes, movie! Sincerely, Nicholas Yuleson. Now that he's the last remaining Yuleson. What does that have to do with anything? You're already released from your bet. Oh, just screw it. To add to the stupidity, they make another curling wager. If I win, there's no more day of slayings. It's back to being good once and for all. If that had been the bet in the first place, we could have had no movie! But this wager is rendered useless right away anyway, because he just slides him right into the hellhole. Then Nick shoots him with a nutcracker, which affects him for some reason, even though a gun didn't earlier. I had the most terrible nightmare. Visions of sugar plums? <laughs> Nick's grandfather can't leave the stadium for whatever reason, so they recruit some hunters to shoot down Santa, and Mac's father randomly shows up with a bazooka! Whatever, we're almost done. Pastor Timmons! Pastor Timmons is the psycho Santa- Oh, that's why Santa Bird kept him around for no reason, so he could get blamed if his sleigh blew up. I think my saga's just beginning. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's right, Santa's still alive! So, Mr. Satan. Actually, that's Shatan. Oh, like the hockey player. Oh, oh, this scene was so necessary. 
And the rest of the scene, I think, tries to be funny, but it does nothing. Just like this whole movie, how something this stupid got greenlighted, even directed TV slash DVD, is really, really sad. And I'm very sorry to anyone who had previously been living in blissful ignorance of this movie's existence, but hey, New Year's is coming up, so here's to forgetting it. drunk instead of watching this movie. I could have. <laughs> That's something to consider. <laughs> <laughs>